It's a great day to be in the Philippines. I'm here to tell you about Hello, remember these scenes from my very first video on the house? This is just about a year ago. I know it's taken a long, long time, but I'm doing this from the cash flow of my social security. I've also had to do some traveling and those types of things. Yeah, it's one of my very first idea was to improve this area to a man cave. I think I originally said this was going to be pavers, but the shape is exactly as I said it was going to be at the time, where it would sort of curve out and go around, and uh, you wouldn't have to walk through the dirt to get to the bathroom. The only difference is it had it done in concrete instead of pavers. Now here I was talking about my vision for a window at the end and a new roof to go across lights and so on the fact that the roof would be hard anyway i finally got the money i finally got the bids and i finally got the laborers all at the same time so this is about 10 days ago demo time get rid of that old roof i found somebody that could use the roof at their house so he came and helped me take it apart and now the entire roof is going to be repurposed not only the aluminum but also the wood so this roof basically got completely recycled, and as I found out later on, uh, he no longer had leaks in his roof. I didn't have to haul it away. He helped me do the demo. I didn't have to pay for that. So everybody wins. Another good day in the province, my friends. When I first started thinking about what to do with this area, the roof was kind of ugly, and it just kind of, the whole property just looked even more drab. So I decided I was going to fix it up, maybe do a gym back there, or man cave kind of thing, something like that. People watching my videos wanted to come and experience what it's like to live in the province. So asking me, uh, is there a hotel out there? You know, is there a rental I could come and stay at? And I thought, oh, you know, uh, they could probably stay in the man cave because that was going to be like a guest room kind of thing anyway. Rent it like an Airbnb. But it would only be for subscribers of this channel. Let me know if that's something you might be interested in down in the comments. Now here's the materials showing up with the delivery guys. If you read my comments, you'll see that I catch a lot of heat from trolls about my hat. And you notice these guys' dress is common for people who work out in the sun. Skin cancer is real. And having had a few surgeries for it and facing another one, I suggest you take care of yourself, no matter how it looks. Now here's the first day. The crew is here finishing off the final touches of the demo and getting ready for the installation. What you're looking at right here is the afternoon of day three, and this will be the final day for the people doing the roof. The single biggest change in this project is that the man cave will actually be a 100% self-contained studio apartment. Now, the coolest thing about being a vlogger is the friends that you make. I tell people I'm going to rent this out. They say, oh, Airbnb? I go, no, only for my subscribers. Now, this is like day five. Uh, this is building the walls. It's going to take today and uh, another day to finish. You can see where he's doing the door there. So that curved thing uh, on the floor, that metal, that's where the wall is going to go. I've had that design, that vision since the first day that I was out here uh, trying to figure out exactly what to do. Now, you can see out back here where the door is going in. And um, the end's going to be a closet there. The air con will be up above the door. Now there's another wall coming in here. Then the window here will be an opaque glass. It's about 8 feet by 4 feet. If it gets too hot, I can always add a second piece of opaque glass, same size. Anyway, you know in my videos I've been talking about doing bamboo all the way around the wall as opposed to putting some kind of a stucco covering on it, uh, power washing, that kind of thing. Anyway, these pieces are about 16 feet long, so I could go 8 feet high and get two for 30 cents. Now you can see that I've got some lined up there against the building. Now I don't know if that's going to look good, uh, but I think it would at least make good insulation from the heat. Might actually look better just to stay as it is, but maybe a uh, different color. Maybe uh, if you've got a better idea, let me know. I always appreciate the comments, even if I don't like the idea. Now the entire building at this point is all steel. I'm going to have lights up there in the middle, right there. And then I'll have a light over on this side where they're going to have like a bed in there, I guess. <laughs> up there where you see that gap between the wall that's behind and the roof, they're going to finish that. They're going to raise that wall up. Uh, this is going to cost me 2000 about 40 bucks for labor and material to get that whole thing sealed off there out at that level. It'll also act. Then along the wall, I'll have power outlets every, I don't know, three or four feet. And along that wall... Now in the kitchen area here, I'm going to extend the counter out, move the sink over. 
I'll put like kitchen cabinets in there, uh, right there, in there. Over here will be all drywall, hardy back kind of materials going through around. So anytime you build in the Philippines, you kind of want high ceilings because the uh, heat rises. Otherwise, I'd put in a ceiling fan there, but it's just not high enough. And outlets in here, probably three to four feet. And then over on that wall, I'll have double outlets like I did in the living room where the TV would be. Over here, I'll have switches for lights outside and the ones on the ceiling. Here, there'll be electrical for like the big screen TV that's going to go in there, sound system, whatever, whatever that might be there. Then there'll be lights up above. The sink area, probably two there, one over there, one over there. And then over here, there'll be one in the area where the closet, the aircon's going to go right up in there. And over here, we'll have light uh, closet at the end. I'll be covering this over with a, a marine plywood. It'll be nice in here. And then the door to the outside, that sidewalk, there'll be a sidewalk there that goes out around to the bar. And then in here, we'll just have to install the floor tiles. Right now, I just really need to order the doors. So I'm probably going to order the doors. They'll be custom made, and uh, we'll have, like, glass in them. And here's the dogs. There's Bob. He's the father. And the black one, he is Archie Pete Ramon. They're helping me this morning. Um, see those little bottle of water there? It's about 60 cents each. Anyway, there's the window there on the left. That's going to go in that big hole right there above the sink. It's, gonna, it's not going to be a see-through one. Over here be a little bedroom area. Although I might put a table and chair in there too. I'm not sure. And then just have a sofa sleeper. Again, let me know what you think, please. In here, I'm going to be putting electricity. Electricity, electricity, every probably every three to four feet. And that's 20 feet from one end to the other. Now, on the kitchen counter, I'm going to extend it out where you see those blocks. And I found a countertop that is a piece of granite. And it's white and black speckled with a couple other minor colors. And then the rest of the floor I'm going to do in sort of a gray marble. I might do the floor and the countertop in the same type of uh, tile. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I love the feedback. You probably can't really see it, but there's about five inches up in there for insulation with a hardy back coming over the top once the lights are in. Now, the insulation on the wall could be the bamboo, but there's some other type that's flexible that could go right in there uh, with another type of, I'm not sure not sure what I'm going to use for the wall covering that would go over the insulation on those curved areas. Now when I bring the counter out to where those blocks are, uh, that'll leave about 36 inches to walk around to where the closet area will be and the entrance to the bathroom. Now, I was told that you can muriatic acid most of this stuff off. I was going to retile the entire bathroom. I will be adding a sink. Uh, the reef, roof leaks, so that'll be getting fixed. And then I have a little sink that I found that matches the toilet. Well, that's it for this update. Uh, more to follow in a few days.